Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to review for you something I could not believe I purchased because it is one of the most expensive makeups I ever put my hands on. And I want to share with you my first experience with it, an honest experience. As you know, that's what I do here. I like to share with you what's the real deal out there, right? So we still have a little bit of daylight. I do have a little bit of light here, but uh, hopefully once I'm done with the makeup, um, I can still show you on a daylight because most of the videos usually show you with like this very strong light and you really don't get to learn <laughs> the quality of the product or the actually color of the products so the color changes under different lights like if you use warm light or cool light things change right so i'm hoping the daylight stays for a little bit longer here anyway let me introduce you to some pieces here guys voila anyway guys i am going to europe as you all probably know and I wanted something for summer. I don't want to wear heavy makeup. You know, my favorite foundation at the moment and for quite a long time has been the Dior foundation. It's quite heavy, especially for summer. For summer, I want the glow. I don't like matte, overpowdered skin. Like, no, it just doesn't look, you know, fresh and summery. It just looks like it's okay for winter, you know, or if you go out at night, perhaps nobody can see that you have a lot of foundation, <laughs> right? Anyway, I haven't been using much of foundation lately anyway. What I purchased, guys, here, I purchased quite a few things, but I have to say one thing. It is expensive bread, <laughs> but I do love what they stand behind, things they do for the environment, for the world, for the beautiful animals, in this case, for the elephant in my new foundation. And this is the Future Skin Cushion. I haven't opened this product yet. Let me see. Let me see how this is going to look. Oh, this is cute. This is so cute packaging i like this i know there is because i've seen some videos <laughs> which i didn't make i've seen videos so i know there is one more refill for the cushion and it comes like with this little elephant explanation about you know what is going on behind the brand and what you giving support to once you purchase this product so i purchased the tone vanilla I'm really curious about because it's kind of difficult to tell online really without daylight what are the real colors so this is how it looks this is the puff which seems lovely and of course it's sealed maybe I'll open it oh yes very good so this is the color of vanilla I hope it's not going to be too dark or too orange. Let's see. So I have that. I'm very excited to apply that on my face. Then I already opened this product because I was nervous about hating it. <laughs> yes. So I purchased eyeshadow. What is the name of the color? I will put that right here for you. Is this beautiful pink? Oh, another package arriving. Is this beautiful pink nacho pink tone I don't think you can see it correctly on the, the camera right now I know it looks almost white right now but it's like this very light rosy pink and I have this eyeshadow from Dior which has been discontinued and I love one of the rose tones so I am hoping this may be similar to it so that is the eyeshadow then I purchased Guys, this. This is the most expensive mascara I, I... I could not believe how expensive this mascara is. They have few, right? Of course, I had to go for the mascara which will add some kind of nutrition to my lashes which kind of been screwed up by <laughs> the treatment I did. So, I'm really excited. It better work because how much was it? $70 for mascara? me crazy don't tell my husband <laughs> do 
to not tell my husband this. <laughs> you know, beauty is expensive, right? When you like to use good quality products which support the environment and things like that, it can get pricey. <laughs> it can get really expensive. Well, this is very cute packaging. Very, very pretty packaging. Like, really cute. So I have been suffering with mascaras since I did the eyelash lift because my eyelashes are like up and kind of crushed. So every mascara is just so complicated to apply on. So let's see how this will be. Of course, lip product. I had to go for a lip product. And I wanted something matte because I do have a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> We all know that, I guess. My bathroom is full of lipsticks everywhere. Every handbag, everywhere, it's just like lipsticks. And this is the Mida... Mida Sweet? Mida Sweet? I'm gonna put the name right here. And this is, again, gorgeous, gorgeous color. So I don't know if you like how this works. If you like... Oh yeah, so you screw it on the bottom and it will like go up a little bit. I just want to try it right away. Okay, that's cute. Okay, so that's another product I got. We will create the whole face with it. And this, I've been looking at this guys for, for about a year now and I just couldn't decide which piece I want. So if you are looking for the pearl collection from Shantikai, they still have it at Shop Rescue Spa. So I purchased some pieces from Shop Rescue Spa and some from the official website of the company. And I am so, so interested about this. So cute. I did purchase it for the packaging and I will show you what I'm talking about. Damn. Guys, this is so so pretty if you are if you are a sucker for cute things this is going to make you so happy <laughs> so anyway this is the blush in akoya so there was highlighter and i think eyeshadow and i didn't want an eyeshadow in uh i think it was a little bit sparkly like shimmery not sparkly shimmery and i didn't want that, that. And I like that highlighter as well, but I wanted something fun. So I got the blush. That's a pop of color, isn't it? So let's play, guys. Let's test this. I'm not going to go over what Chantikai represents because I think at this point most of us know. I think we know that. No? We know that. I just want to review it for you. That's the whole purpose of this video. And as well, I want a new makeup for my vacation, <laughs> there you go again. How many more times I'm going to say it? Like, I will be saying it till we are there, honestly. Even when we are there, I will be still saying it. So anyway, <laughs> so the beautiful foundation, let me test this. I already had in a past uh, cushion foundation from Amor Pacific and I loved it. I loved it. That foundation had the zinc. I'm not sure if this, was, this one has zinc, I'm not sure. But anyway, I want to see if it has any coverage, how it sits on the skin. And this is supposed to be like anti-aging foundation. And I heard like, it like the pores like disappear. So let's, let's see what's the truth to it. Okay. I, by the way, take this kind of foundation to be really lovely to use. I like foundation which are lighter like this over like a pump foundation because I don't like to use that much foundation on my face honestly I'm going to use it first on half of my face and then we going to compare it yes I think the color seems right I will put it on my nose sorry I'm not gonna wait for I've been so excited about this foundation. So guys, this is skin with the foundation. And no foundation. Foundation. 
So what I feel is my skin got quite lovely glow, but it's not shiny, greasy glow. Like it so far. Let's put it all over the face. Guys, this is nice. And yes, the pores seems like, pores seems nice. <laughs> I am not going to lie. I wanted to not to like it because the price of this is expensive. So good and pretty though. I have to say, this is what I wanted with the foundation. So here we are on a daylight, so you can see the foundation. Now it's time to dip my brush to this lovely eyeshadow. And if I like this eyeshadow, I will definitely go for, oh, it's too light. It's very light. Let me swatch it for you. Yeah, it's kind of light for me, actually. It... Well, a disappointment there, but I'm going to apply it at least to the front of my eye to lighten up the, out the corners here. So the eyeshadow is not a winner for me. I mean, it seems, the color seems lovely, like rosy, but then when you put it on, it's like, technically like very white on me. <laughs> exactly what I don't want. So let me show you the Dior eyeshadow. It's this one. It's this one here. Yeah, it's actually much lighter, so I shall have no better. I want to do full look with mascara. I mean, it's good eyeshadow to highlight <laughs> your, <laughs> your eye in the corner. Is it worth it to spend the money? <laughs> on eyeshadow like that? Probably not. Uh, because as well you have to buy the container and the actual eyeshadow so it doesn't come together. So that is annoying part. So I will be really thinking about that if you deciding to purchase the eyeshadows from them. At least with this tone it seems like it's really light. So anyway, I did not buy the eyeliner, so I'm just going to use my Tom Ford. So I just put my eyeliner on and now I want to test the mascara. And just in case my lashes will turn crazy, I have uh, this tool here, because why not? Well, first of all, the filter in the top of the container filtered most of the product away from the brush and that is what I'm expecting from mascara. Not just from $70 mascara, <laughs> from all mascaras. And they used to have that, but brands just go crazy and they change things sometimes, right? I don't know why. Great. So mascara is on and even my lashes are a little bit messed up. Uh, they're kind of all over the place from the treatment. I have to say mascara is pretty impressive. So let me put it, let me use the mascara on the second eye. I'm impressed. <laughs> So for someone with quite messed up eyelashes, I am I'm so impressed right now. My lashes are like a doll lashes. First of all, they're touching my skin <laughs> because they're curled too much with the silly Yumi lash lift I did. But guys, look at this. I'm feeling like a doll. 
Do you see that? I'm impressed. Wow. Time for this goodie. Let's let's play with this one because I'm not gonna put any bronzer on right now. Even you know I have the new Dior, I mean Chanel Dior. <laughs> Obviously not Dior. Chanel product. But I want to try this first without anything on. So this goodie, look at the beautiful color guys. Like come on. I'm going to use my new brush from a company called Rep. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. So let's try this. I'm just going to gently dip it. See? I didn't put powder on. I just want it like. very little bit of the product of course going for the summer look right <laughs> even without bronzer right now <laughs> this brush is number 18 guys this is nice that is nice very light tone compared to what you see here this is so lovely i was a little bit worried that it's going to be too much you know wow okay now this booty let's test you so i removed the layer the previous layer just to see what's the deal with this beautiful rosy tone It goes on very smoothly. Even if this is a, how you call it, matte product, it feels really hydrating right now on my lips. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So, guys, let's recap this. Let's do this together. So, foundation. Yes, pretty impressive. I have to say, I'm loving how it makes my skin look. So guys, my memory card gave up again on me. <laughs> so annoying, honestly. I just purchased a new one yesterday, so it should be better. $150 foundation. It's about to stay in my makeup bag. It's about to stay, guys. Pretty goddamn good. Pretty good. I am impressed, honestly. I do have large pores. I mean, I feel like there's something happened there with the pores. They are like covered. I didn't use primer. Pretty nice. I have a little pigmentation and the layer of the foundation I apply provided coverage, which I like, which is not too heavy, which creates a very fake look on your face. And it still lets things to go a little bit through it. I have the feeling like you, if I did uh, one more layer, it will create a little bit better coverage. For those who like super heavy, heavy coverage, maybe up for you. Maybe for the summer months, I have to say. Perhaps. Try it. Don't go matte. It looks... It looks older, you know, even if you are 20 and you put so much of matte makeup on, it makes you look 15 years older. Not something you be like, right? So anyway, so the eyeshadow, guys, I have to say, first I got upset because I cannot use it all over my eyelids, right? Like create actually look with it. Um, I really like it in the inner corners it creates this it has like an undertone to it which is quite a lovely I have never seen it before it's not shiny it's not shimmery it just has special tone to it and I, I like it is it worth it for that mm, 
If I knew better, I would probably not buy it, for sure not, but I will use it for this part because it's a tiny little piece, so it will not take too much space, right? So now, blown away with these lashes. I mean, my lashes are really messed up now because of the treatment. I personally prefer to curl my lashes over doing this treatment. I will never do it again. I will not. I am really, really impressed the way it covered my lashes. I am impressed the way it uh, brushed through every lash to lift it up and it creates full coverage for each lash and I didn't even have to like remove product from my lashes because it will create like chunks of mascara. <sighs> my goodness, why it has to be $70? Crazy, this is crazy. We'll buy it again though, I will. I don't know if it's going to smudge or not, it's too soon to tell. It's possible it will for me because my bottom lashes sit quite low. So I may put like a powder under my eye. <laughs> I did buy it because the packaging. <laughs> I have to say I am adoring this color. I, you know, you, I had the blush from, I have few actually, but the one which I've been using the most now is uh, the Vestment Atelier, which is the stick one. And I thought when I have more glossy foundation, I perhaps be better with, uh, because I have oily skin, I do have oily skin. So I thought better powder, blush, and honestly, the packaging is priceless. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Uh, this part of the packaging doesn't feel that luxurious as the top does, just to say the truth. The color seems crazy crazy bright by the way i like the color for me but it goes on very light it doesn't create crazy crazy um pigmentation the brush has very light tint on it i'm loving it i'm very happy that i purchased this as well for even first i went for the packaging only <laughs> it it works and this is very lovely this color it's like cool, rosy tone. So, do you know Indian Rose from Tom Ford? So about five, six years ago, that lipstick was the lipstick for me. I loved it. I didn't want any other. It was like the perfect, cool, rosy, nude tone. And it just looked, and it just looked perfect on my lips. And they changed the tone and made it more warm rosy. So I keep buying new one, which is $50, <laughs> in a hope that I will find maybe the older one. Didn't happen. I don't like the lipstick anymore. This is the tone I will compare it to, to the original Tom Ford tone. Let me just try one more thing imprinted a little bit on my hand not too much very lovely my my lips feel very silky it don't doesn't feel like you know like sometimes when you have matte lipstick on it creates like chunks of lipstick when you do this little bit after you apply it because it like dries this is matte but it's hydrating pretty good pretty good so this was this was success i have to say the only one which I will not go for will be the eyeshadow again, but I will have this eyeshadow for many, 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 many years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guys, what is your experience with this brand? Shantikai. I like how it sounds too. Like it sounds so elegant. Shantikai, Shantikai. I took a long time to decide to try this brand. I did, because I was not sure about the pricing, to be honest. It's crazy. It's totally worth it for me. So, one thing to say, my skin is exfoliated. I use my P50, I have been using my retinols, I've been needling, I've been rolling, you know. I've been doing like gentle exfoliation. I don't like to use any harsh exfoliators even like face wash, you know, I'm 
even I have oily skin, if you use very drastic skincare, it just makes your skin worst. Believe or not, too many acids, too much of aggressive mask, like you know the peeling mask, guys, don't use that. Don't use them. Like, it hurts you taking it off, why you think it's good for you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> anyway, so my skin is in quite good condition, I have to say. I'm really, really impressed with my skin lately. Does it sound like... Yeah, but I don't care because I like it. <laughs> it looks good, looks good. <laughs> so anyway, the foundation sits really nice. That was the whole point of me explaining you why I like my skin right now. Because the foundation sits perfectly. It doesn't create any chunks. It has a very lovely feel. I don't feel like it, it's heavy on my skin. And that's what I go for because I want to feel fresh and not heavy. Like I hate the feel of foundation on my face. Hate it so much. It feels like dirt on your face sometimes, right? So yeah, I'm impressed guys. What are your thoughts about this brand? Because I know many of you already know them. So I think this was definitely good for chess. I'm First, the packet hurt a little bit, but now when I finally tried it on, I, I am very happy. And all this is coming with me to Europe. And this goodie, oh my God, this one is coming as well. So guys, have you tried this before? This Chanel bronzer, I am blown away. For the ones who were asking, I purchased the lighter shade, um, Soleil and Bronze Universe 390. So yeah, I purchased the lighter shade, just so you know. So this makeup plus this goodie is to stay with me in my makeup bag. I need bigger makeup bag. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to let me know in comments below what we think of Shantikai. I'm really curious about your experiences. What do you think about the eyeshadows? Any better palette I can try perhaps? You know, I don't like too metallic, but this works just on the inner eye, <laughs> it works. So let me know, I'm really curious. This is good too. This is really good. <laughs> anyway guys, time to go. <laughs> See you next week, bye bye.